Hi, welcome to story time. We have some books about spring with us today. Why don't we start by singing a song? We're gonna sing, we clap and say hello. It goes like this. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. All of us together. We clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. All of us together. We stomp and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. All of us together. We wave and sing hello. The first book is called The Book of Babies because a lot of babies are being born in the spring. It is by Lee Sun Na and it's published by Alfred A. Knopf, New York. When the flowers begin to bloom and the world starts turning green, animals everywhere are born, including the noisy ducklings. Some have lots of brothers and sisters. Some have none at all. Some can walk right away. while others need a little help. Some are carried in their mommy's pouch. Some are carried in their daddy's pouch. Some are born with soft, warm fur. While some are born with smooth scales. But at the end of their very first day, babies everywhere need their rest. including the sleepy ducklings. Shh. The end. Why don't we sing a song about an animal that's waking up during the spring? The bear wakes up from hibernation. This is the bear went over the mountain. It goes like this. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see, to see what he could see, to see what he could see. The other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Here's another animal that wakes up from hibernation in the spring, a little turtle. The turtle went over the mountain, the turtle went over the mountain, the turtle went over the mountain to see what he could see, to see what he could see, to see what he could see. The other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Our next book is called And Then It's Spring by Julie Fagliano published by Roaring Book Press. First you have brown. All around you have brown. Then there are seeds. And a wish for rain. And then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's still just brown, sort of brown. 
then it is a week. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping, because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. And then it is one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And then it is one more week. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after the rainy day. And you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around, and now you have green. All around, you have green. The end. Let's sing another song with our animal friends that we have with us today. Let's sing Old MacDonald. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O, with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's see, we have one more book. This one's called My Garden by Kevin Henke. Published by Willowbrook Books. My mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work, and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, There would be no weeds, and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. In my garden, the flowers could change colors just by me thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. And if you picked a flower, another one would grow back right in its place. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate and I would eat them. If I planted seashells, I would grow seashells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Sometimes in my garden, good, unusual things would just pop up. Buttons and umbrellas and old keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds, so that the air was humming with wings.
the tomatoes would be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would, grow, would glow like lanterns. It's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? asks my mother. Oh, nothing, I say, just working in the garden. The end. Thank you for coming to story time. I hope I see you next time. Bye.